watch this video, I just want to apologize real quick. My brain is kind of all over the place today. I haven't had enough coffee or I've had too much coffee. And I can't seem to keep my thoughts as cohesive as I would like as I would like. So this video may not be as cogent as I usually make them. About a year ago, I did a video in which I was trying to make the point that animals are not people. And not too long ago, I did another video in which I was apologizing to my mother over the phone um, about my past rampant hatred of hunting, um, and I've corrected my view since then. In the comments of that video, there was um, a dialogue going about animal rights and why we should be vegetarians as a whole or vegans, or I'm not really sure which one the person was more arguing for. I think it was more vegetarian. And I told the, the commenter that I was going to do another video. The reason that this has taken so long actually is because I've been thinking about what what exactly I'm going to say, what points I wanted to make, etc, etc. So I've been reading and rereading various arguments in my comments and just in general on the PETA website, on every, every kind of vegetarian, vegan, um, as well as like hunting and pro meat eating sites because I've been trying to get a firm grasp on where I really stand on this and it kind of boils down to two points but before I go on to those I just want to state for the record that I don't care if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and when it really comes down to it, I don't really care about your reasoning. My problem is with people that think that everybody should be a vegetarian or vegan or pescatarian or whatever multi-syllabic word that you want to put in your personal description. Those are the people I have a problem with. If you personally think that animals have feelings and animals are equal to people, therefore you're not ever going to eat the flesh of an animal, fine. Like, I disagree with your point of view, but it doesn't affect me in any way, so I don't care. So this video is more, it, it's directed at people who think that everybody needs to change their view on this and that they are actively trying to get people to change their view on it. So the first thing I did is one of the commenters who was pro-vegetarian, I took their comments and copied and pasted them into um, a Word document and then just kind of like went through and, you know, put in parentheses the points I was trying to make. First of all, there's a lot of logical fallacies. And actually, I found that on a lot of the vegetarian websites as well. Um, sadly, you guys seem to be fond of straw man arguments, false dichotomies, complex questions, and, um, the slippery slope. Those are, those are the ones that seem to pop up the most. Oh, and of course, ad hominem attacks. Because of course, you can't make a good argument without completely insulting your opponent. So the first point I want to make is... A lot of people were throwing around the word sentient or conscious, as in animals are sentient or conscious and they feel pain um, and that makes them, that puts them on equal line with humans. So the first thing I did was I went up, I went to dictionary.com and I looked up the definition of sentient and there's four of them, two are adjectives, two are nouns. So the two adjectives are having the power of perception by the senses conscious, characterized by sensation and consciousness. Um, the nouns don't really apply here. So you could say that an animal is sentient. Um, consciousness can mean many things. That was the second thing that I looked up, and I think that's the more important thing really in this argument. All right, so there are nine definitions of conscious. Aware of one's own existence, sensations, thoughts, surroundings, etc. Number two, fully aware or sensitive of something. Having the mental faculties, fully active, known to oneself. Then there's aware of what one is doing. Six is aware of oneself. Um, seven, deliberate, intentional. Eight is acutely aware or concerned about. And nine is inwardly sensible of wrongdoing. So the two here... 
that I do not think apply to any non-human animals with the exception of a few of the great apes are number nine, which is inwardly sensible of wrongdoing. And then the other one that I have a problem with is number one, which is aware of one's own existence, sensations, thoughts, surroundings, etc. An animal is definitely aware of its surroundings. It has to be. Um, but really, you can argue on a philosophical level, are animals aware of themselves? If you put up a mirror in front of a cat or dog, they're not going to know that that is them. They're going to think that it is another cat or dog. In fact, one of the, the tests, so to say, to test if something, if an animal is aware of itself, is to put a mirror in front of it. And so far, the only animals, aside from humans, that have really passed that test are dolphins and elephants. Those are the only other animals that recognize themselves in a mirror. Can animals, can animals really know that they're doing something wrong? Once again, it's arguable. I'm not saying that they can't, but um, a lot of animals haven't shown the mental faculty to be able to do that. So I think those definitions are extremely important. The second thing that I want to argue, um, and I'm going to take some quotes here from the person who is writing in my comments. So their comment states, you are the ones who view humans as somehow so magically special that they transcend all of the arguments and declarations you so freely use to justify pain and death of any other species. Definitely a little bit of a straw man there. Um, and then they go on to say, this is in a different comment, um, someone replied that, you know, well, eating meat is natural. And the comment replies, everything that exists is natural. Um, death is natural, killing is natural, rape is natural, and then says, do unto others as that hungry lion does unto the lame elk. So right there, the commenter is, so they have animals and people on the same level, and then in that one line, they drop animals down below people. Somehow the commenter sees the lion as unreprehensible when they kill an elk and eat it. Whereas it seems that they, they think that humans have the mental capabilities to consider the pain and suffering of other animals. And in that consideration, in our humanness and in our inequality to animals, we need to um, consider that pain and suffering before we kill and eat them. And th this didn't just happen in the comments either. This was on a lot of the web pages that I read where people keep saying, People and animals are equal, they need to be treated as equals, etc, etc. But then a paragraph later, they'll go on to say that basically, like, we as humans need to protect the animals because we can. But why is it that we can protect the animals? We have a higher mental function. Humans and animals are not equal. And everybody kind of seems to know this. I'm not trying to make an argument to eat meat either, uh, though it would be a really stupid argument to make. Um, but I am just saying that those two arguments in particular, the argument that animals are sentient or conscious, and the argument that people and animals are equal, don't hold water. So those seem to be the main two arguments that active vegans and vegetarians are giving for not eating meat and why no other human should eat meat as well. So if you want to reply with a video response or a comment and uh, give me a better reason why you think that humans should not eat meat, go right ahead. 